Take your key, pop the seat. There's gonna be four bolts under here. We're not gonna go into detail, I'm just gonna show you generally how to do this. Four bolts in here, I've already taken the bolts out. So we're just gonna slide this out. Um, now I'm gonna remove this. There's two, two screws, one on each side. Just move this out of the way. It's more of a pull than what you just seen. Now we've got access to our engine. We don't need to take our engine out or anything. We're just gonna start disassembling and doing everything from right here. First thing I'm gonna do is remove this exhaust. You notice the mud flap is connected. There's two bolts here and then two bolts uh, nuts at the head. So. In the Kimco, they, they have a Torx bit up here, a safety bit. And then, then back here, I just unclip that. Every model is going to be a little different anyway. Now I'll get up underneath the header. Move the exhaust. This one's a little difficult here. You got to get in. It's good that I have a wobble socket. Go into the angle like that. And I'm just removing this last nut here by hand since it's hard to get to. Put our exhaust to the side. So I'm just removing this cover here. The battery's under there. We gotta make sure we disconnect it so that the engine doesn't accidentally start when you're trying to put the piston in or something and chop your finger off or anything like that. So make sure your battery is not connected. You can just remove one side of the terminal so it doesn't complete the circuit. This um, cover here, we gotta get in here. So I'm just gonna start loosening everything here. That one we're gonna need a screwdriver for. This right here is a stator cover. We need to remove it so that we can check our timing. Like that. And remove uh, this cover that covers the carburetor, which is generally not there. And I'll unscrew this intake boot. Same with the uh, air filter boot. See if I can move that out of the way. Just like that. I really don't need to like undo it all. The goal is just to move it out of the way. I mean you can move it if you want. But I'm just gonna kinda just shove it in the corner and jam it so it doesn't mess with me. So I'll remove this intake boot um, hose. I'm going to uh, remove these, this intake boot now. And put this to the side. Pull off this hose, the breather hose. Sometimes it's easy to take a screwdriver and just pry it. Be careful not to rip it. Like that, put that aside. Undo the spark plug. And we've got another eight millimeter right here. Get that out of there. And then we could lift this guy up just like that. I'm just gonna let that stay like that for just a minute and push the bottom like that as well. Back here, it's hard to see, there's a, a small eight millimeter bolt. So that's why I have an extension. That's the last bolt that's holding this uh, cover on here. And then you have to snake it out of here. There, there's a little uh, joint that's connected. Um, sometimes it's easier to remove this stuff. So I'm just gonna remove this and let this stay here for right now. All right, so then we'll remove this this hose here, just like that. Um, then we got our bunch of tens. I'm gonna start removing these. 
There's a gasket underneath this hose here, this chrome hose. Um, our head, we're not gonna use this, this uh, thing anymore, so that gasket's not really useful. It's it for emissions. So if you live in California, I would recommend, uh, you probably couldn't do this kit because I think they have emissions. And, you have, and we're removing the emissions, so. See that cover, that, that little guy? And it plugs in back here. So I'm just gonna set this aside. And I'll, so I'll just pull these covers out. There's this little tang that I was trying to get out. So see how they clip together like that? Hey guys, Matt Burton here with Rolling Wrench. To watch the rest of that video, just click the link below. It's gonna send you over to our website, rollingwrenchdenver.com where you can download the entire video, it's 45 minutes long, for $1. The video is done by me. I've been doing this for 17 years. I've got 15 certifications, and I've probably rebuilt this engine, I don't know, 300 times. I've done it a lot. Uh, so I definitely know all the tips and tricks, and you're gonna get that within that video. Everything that I recommend, and uh, you're just gonna get it all. I'm gonna put it all out there for $1. The video is gonna cover the big board kit on a Tau Tau, Raketa, Puma, Wolf, Gorilla, Lance, the Schwinn scooters, the Sun L, the Tank, the Bentelli, the Xenon, and all the Peace scooters. Basically anything with a 49cc motor to start, the Chinese scooters, um, also known as a QMB 139, GY650, or 139 QMB. Uh, I'll see you over there at the website.